Hi, I'm Larry Karaszewski, and this is Trailers from Hell. If you've created a phenomenon as successful as The Graduate, pretty much whatever you type next is gonna be turned into a motion picture. Such was the case with novelist Charles Webb, whose follow-up novel was called The Marriage of a Young Stockbroker, and it was made into a Richard Benjamin film in 1971. Be serious when you tell me your hobby is looking at naked women. I have an urge which you might call lascivious controllable, but it's an urge. I've always had it. Charles Webb is an extremely eccentric figure. He's given away most of his money, and between writing books, he's taken jobs running a nudist colony and working at Kmart. But he is a very clever writer and should be given a lot more credit for The Graduate than he usually is. Uh, most of the dialogue from that film comes directly from his book. The script for this movie, Marriage of a Young Stockbroker, is not up to that picture's high standards, but it's written by the great Lorenzo Semple Jr., uh, who also wrote Pretty Poison, Papillon, The Parallax View, among others. Uh, the movie stars Richard Benjamin during his leading man phase. He starred in three movies back-to-back -back in the early 70s, all directorial debuts from Hollywood legends in other fields. Portnoy's Complaint, from the writer of North by Northwest and West Side Story, Ernest Lehman, <laughs> The Steagle, from uh, Academy Award winning production designer Paul Silbert, and this movie from graduate producer Lawrence Terman. All three films were large scale financial and critical wipeouts, and the directors went running back to their day jobs. But I have affection for this one. I, I may be the only one. I programmed a screening of this film at the American Cinematheque. Terman and Semple were my guests, and during the Q&A, I asked why the movie has never been released on home video, and Terman said, because it's no good. <laughs> I actually got an argument with him, trying to convince him that his own film was worth watching, and I think I lost. It's got a great cast, though. Uh, the beautiful Joanna Shimkus, who retired from acting and married Sidney Poitier, Elizabeth Ashley, the villain of the piece, and a terrific turn from TV's Batman, Adam West. Uh, Semple created that show. The best sequence in the film, however, features 70s cult actress Tiffany Bowling. It's a wordless, anonymous sexual encounter that's beautifully filmed and actually quite erotic and touching. It's a cinematic, zipless fuck, and for that alone, you should track down Marriage of a Young Stockbroker.